All right, all right, all right. Loses finals. You know, this is a funny match to me. As good as Fenrich is, after watching Goichi versus Sonic the first time, you can just see in this set how Fenrich tries to deal with Sonic. And although he has a really good defensive assist with Vegeta, his team doesn't quite have the same kind of control, I think, as Goichi's team, and obviously doesn't have the same kind of defense. Reverse Clash? No! You know, Sonic, you're a cheating motherfucker. You see this? Clash? They both are reverse cancel. So to do another standing L here and not get the second hit of your auto combo, you have to hold back. And then after that, instead of canceling again, Sonic does nothing. Fenrich does reflect. Sonic knows the reflect is coming and 2M punishes. That's that's pretty high level read. And it, it gets the kill. So both of them did that and then Sonic said, okay, I'm not going to hit a button. I'm going to just block. And then Fenrich went for the reflect. Drop that pink matter first. That's pretty rough. Two M starter dead. No sparking spent. Yeah, Queen Ansier. This is okay damage. Snap is better because the damage was only okay. Yeah. I like that jump back actually. Vegeta assist gone. Now that Vegeta's assist is gone, notice that Sonic will commit to more offense. Mm -hmm. Nice punish. They're directly related though, that's just how it works. As soon as Vegeta assists not on the table, Sonic's like, okay, I can just play neutral straight up. Yeah, you know, I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, that sucks. <laughs> That uppercut whiffing from half screen away, that, sh that shit was a little sad. Dead Bardock. This is a pretty good spot for Fenrish still. Sonic probably can't TOD with two characters. So it's a two hit match. That means Fenrish can eat one hit, then spark up after. Sonic doesn't vanish the vanish. I don't think you always have to. It's not probably always worth the bar. Dang, that time Sonic reflected. Noise. Didn't get the second hit off the jump M, so went low. Sonic was committed to the reflect. Alright, I think Sonic might actually want to spark. Yeah, there hasn't been a good time to spark yet. Whoa. Nice confirm. Yeah, this is getting a little shaky. I think if you're Sonic, you got to spark soon. If you get a hit, especially. If you're Fenridge, you feel pretty good about not sparking. Okay, no need to spend it here. Now, do you bait the spark is the question. Yeah, huh? The only problem is the assist left for them is Kid Boo, which is not that good to combo off of. It's funny to watch any other Bardock with sparking and compare it to Sonic's and just see that the mix-ups are not the same. <laughs> I mean, I think super dashing is powerful in Dragon Ball, obviously, but at a high level, really, it's just a lot of preemptive air to airs and a lot of reaction air to air whiff punishes. Really smart defense. Yeah, that should have maybe been uh, standing M instead of standing L, like dash up standing L. 
that's the Vegeta assist. Nice try. With the, uh, vanish there. Not gonna work out. He could have tried to do Super Dash, but maybe the tail end would have still clipped him. Double air dash. Blocks from Sonic. The tick into the dragon. Good rush. break. Yeah, as powerful as Super Dash is. It just forces people to like backdash and try to punish. Now, I like that key blast. I think if Sonic just fell with the regular button, it probably would have been a meaty. Yeah, high level Dragon Ball is super fun to watch, I think, because yeah. Because you just see the interaction straight up between two players, and in Dragon Ball, there is a lot of interactions that happen per match. It's not a game, you know, because it takes so long to kill, especially. It's not a game where you see like one interaction and then death. It's like you see both players get to do two to three to four things before they die. Big bang. My guard cancel timing was good. I think Sonic probably expected assist plus super dash. I I actually like this version of Dragon Ball a little bit more to watch than maybe the Gotenks stuff. Yeah, Ghost Oki. Ghost Oki, like I think was probably fun to use and it took a lot of effort to do well. But it was a little degenerate. Ghost Aki, yeah, exactly. Oh, man, he called that out and back dash clean. Fenrich took it. One thing <laughs> doesn't even matter how hard you try. That, that, that was a rough uppercut. If it felt it in my shoulder blades, you know, might not reach, right? Yeah, I was just gonna say, it doesn't always reach from full screen, actually. Auto combo here, Sonic Power. Oh, fuck. Too good, man. Snap. Dragon rush, snap it, bring in cell. Oh, Super Dash on incoming, actually. He didn't believe in the meaty. Auto combo string him up. Kid Boo, this is bad news. Yeah, yeah I think Spark out of blocks is good. The chance of you surviving that mix up is probably not that high. Holds the spark or uh, holds the vanish off of the perfect attack. It's a lot of damage here. Should be the kill. Jesus. Yeah, Bardock level 3, as long as you have forward momentum, usually hits even if it's like essentially full screen, but the way that worked was kind of like weird because the character wasn't carrying any momentum forward, it was pretty far away. Nice little walk under to, get the, to keep the corner. Situation is a little scary actually reflect after no whiff punish. Sonic didn't commit. Dodges the Bardock. Because of the meter and sparking advantage too, I think that this is uh, a relatively even match. This is bad. Yeah, that was kind of like a gimme, right? Where you're like, okay, well I want to reflect the gumball, but then Sonic's like, I'm chilling right here. That's not gonna hit, right? Oh, it did? Even se I guess if you cancel second hit first, you're in a good spot. I feel like if that jumping L actually worked, Fenrich would have got hit. Cell is still top tier. Still very good character. Nice jump. Oh, man. It'd be like that sometimes. This is a pretty, you know, this is a pretty hard match now, I think. 1-1-1. One, one, one. This is pretty tough to win. You need two hits on Bardock, and you need one hit on the other two characters. Nothing. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's all she wrote. As soon as you run up block Vegeta in that case, you're big chilling. Look, in that moment, Sonic twice now has tried to do a vanish to beat that instead of like a super dash or anything else. And I think in that moment, right, like, you know, it feels like the right idea, but Fenrich is just really calling it out. He's like, look, Vegeta assist is still useful. And you see it right here working in the start of the round again. 
Run on block plus Vegeta assist is actually like, I don't think it'll ever stop being bad. You'd have to nerf Vegeta assist like crazy. Perfect attack. That was weird. The end of perfect attack actually missed. I think Fenrich was looking for a tag. Mm hmm. Counter hit. Sonic tried to hit a button. Yeah, you perfect attack out of the corner and then dragon rush back into the corner. This is close. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh no. Yeah, and of course, tag out Kid Boo. Don't DP again. Okay. <laughs> After those last two DPs, that's all I was thinking was, please don't uppercut. No, the stomp. That was a good block. Oh, both of them. This is bad. This is one of the worst positions in the game, right? Because Cell is really good at comboing two characters who are sandwiched together. Final Flash? Mm-hmm. Try to bait the if that was a sparking bait, that's Fenrich's match. That was good defense from Sonic. Gumball, uh oh. Oh, kept it really safe. Oh, in the front. Yeah, this is looking like all Fenrich now, right? If you're looking at this match, this is like 9-1 Fenrich's favor. Even with Sparking left. Yeah, it's very rare that a character is good at keeping two characters sandwiched together uh, in this game. Like that, most of the time when you hit both characters, they sort of fall out. But Cell is actually one of the few characters who is almost always really good at that. Dead? I'm not sure Mr. Thug the exact rules, but a lot of the times the moves or hitboxes don't hit both characters or they sort of fall out or you carry past them. Cell's combos just like work perfectly. I don't I don't know why, honestly. It, they just work perfectly for two characters. Yeah, Sonic hasn't really gotten a big like sequence in a while. That was kind of a high air dash. He's perfect. Oh my, I forgot about that. The summit. Man, the summit was a great time. Mm-hmm. Fake fuzzy. Or double overhead. It could have been either. One. Another level one. Drop the level three. Majin Okaba. Yeah, the BTS is doing their monthly. Has Goichi lost a tournament yes this season? He's won the last 11 events he's attended. That was a great block. Yeah, air 2H from uh, Vegeta kind of like hits you up and then Vegeta can go left or right. Wake up button. Mm -hmm. okay, still in range. Sonic still has spark to you. Good call out. That's a little high. Vegeta, Dragon Rush. Beautiful. What spark? Sparking uh, blast is a mechanic in Dragon Ball. You can see the little sparking indicators right here and right here. 
It gives you extra power. It lets you vanish and then uh, hold down the vanish and you just appear. It gives you extra damage. You build extra meter when it hits stuff. It's like an overall buff in all things your character does. Oh, wow. A raw power pole. Raw power pole is pretty good, actually. Beautiful done. Uh, beautifully done from Fenrich. That run up, Call Vegeta, is so patented. It works in so many situations. Hey, keep it down, tie down, alright? Oh no, yeah. Oh, Fenrich. These wounds, they will not heal. Come on, brother. To be fair, to Fenrich, Fenrich has done so many uppercuts that the reversal buttons, like, uh, you know, were respected. Sonic Fox is running up and blocking. So I can't talk too much shit about wake up uppercuts. But yeah, I mean, Fenrich is known for the crazy uppercuts in Blaze Blue in this game as well, right? That's just how Fenrich does things. That Tanjiro emote is so good. <laughs> how many subs are we at? That reminds me. Damn, 1094. Jesus. Thanks, everybody. That mix-up that, that comes after, especially from Kid Buu, is terrifying. Yeah, so many backdashes from Sonic. He gave up a lot of space, and Fenrich just sort of jumped and waited. The assist again. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a great combo from Fenrich. Really, really, really good awareness. He's got a plan for every situation possible. Hits the overhead in the air, gets a standing L combo after him. Super, super good. It's good as Smokey Blue dropping the big tier one. Thanks very much. What is Fenrich's weakness as a player? To be honest, I think his team is not so good in the current version of the game. And also, always seems to struggle in the deep end of the tournament. This hurts. This is a big, fat combo. This is before Fenrich switched teams, by the way. This is Evo. Oh, the cheating mix-up. That was a two-touch kill. Man, that hurts. Fenrich's composure... I feel like he loses to the to the big dogs at every tournament, though. That's the problem. Sonic Fox on the hunt, gets the tag. Vanish, just to keep the combo going. Goes for the switch instead. Wow, missed the meaty. Damn, jump M completely whipped. Once again, that's, that's a beautiful whip punish. Flash going for a reflect this time. Fenrich is going to take the lead on it. Five bars on his side. It's going to be a Yeah, you got to drop the level three here. Yeah, Sonic with no defensive. Fenrich also has sparking, which is great. He has to block this or reflect or vanish or something like that. Dragon Rush, no break. He's not building a lot of meter the, the meter situation is not too crazy, but Vegeta assist means that he'll build up three, yeah. Bang. That's huge. Getting the kill here and then still having sparking means he has a big advantage because this meter advantage is actually not, it's like inconsequential. Because when you get a hit in spark, you're going to build like two to three bars just off of that hit, so... Eesh, that's a big drop. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck he was ready. Point blank. That's just not easy. Level 1, level 3. And they get the uh, buffed fucking GT Goku super fancy level 3. Big damage. The question is spark or no spark? I imagine no spark. Yeah. Too ready. 
This is a lot of lost blue life for Vegeta. Spark out of block stun, which I think you, you sort of have to do. Oh no. That's really bad. That is a real rough spot. Spend level 2 sparking, immediately die for it. Like, Fenrich had so little life that sparking there meant... Oh, that's a whiff punish too. Sparking there meant that like if you get hit at all, you're dead. Sparking heals you, which is great, but... Oh, no, you're too tall. It's too low, boy. Yabak Bon can't take it. Look at this. He tries, I think, to run under. But he's so tall that the big jump age hits him. Dead. This is it. Level one, level one. This is it. Sonic Fox. He's back in grand finals. Just like that. Another. That is too bad. As bad as. Large. Uh, I see. Believe is Grandes. Uh, this the first word I believe is uh. The T E H is supposed to be the the that's large. I see. Okay. Thanks very much for dropping the five oh one. Titas Grandes. <laughs> Barbados Slim, is that you? <laughs> that whole like limbo shit from Futurama gets me every time. What is this Fenrich pose? <laughs>